dodge on. She went off. Take speed. Whoa! Wow! That. Oh wow! Wow! There's 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 a there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. That, well, we'll see how this all turns out. Okay. Uh, we are starting this one at approximately 8:25 my time. Blackheart, let's go. Blackheart. <laughs> Excerpt from the journal of T. Argent. And while fire has always been an excellent choice, I have found no definitive answer to my question. What remains clear is that, in regards to Blackheart's, execution remains the only viable solution. My sister. You and I will be, again, we will be together again soon, won't we? Though I'm sorry it had to be this way. Hmm? What? Fire? I <coughs> I need to <coughs> get out of here. Escape the burning house. No time to read. The house is on fire. <laughs> uh, just a, <coughs> a little bit further. I can't lose consciousness. Not yet. Uh, uh, almost. <coughs> Please, someone. Damn. Do you want to live? Yes! Very well. Then you shall be reborn anew. Or, well, not anew, but a little sooty. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, that's loud. I'll turn it down in a second. Finally awake, huh? It's only been, uh, gee, three days. Guess that means I can stop watching it now. You, uh, you just go do your thing, yeah? Wait, where are we? Did you miss the orientation meeting? <laughs> so she didn't get an orientation, and I was told to watch in her after her until she woke up. Damn, they probably made, wanted me to give her the tour. I'll, yeah. Turned up. So, uh, Cecily, is that right? Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Matthias. I used to be a famous reporter. Maybe you've heard of me. I've told I had quite the reputation. No. Oh. Well, that's fine. Nobody would expect a country bumpkin like you to be up with what's hip these days. So, you probably have no idea why you, where you are or why you're here. Listen, it's probably better for you to take this one step at a time. And hi, Dora, how you doing? Huh? Why don't you walk around a bit? Get your bearings. And, uh, I guess I can come with you. Not like I had any plans tonight. Let's join you, okay. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. That was quite loud. What can I save? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, you don't have to pay any attention to that. Is this a diary? Oh, you're gonna be a delight, aren't you? What is all this? Oh, you know, decor. I'm dead tired. So, before we get any further... Matthias, I see the girl's awake. Oh, Cherry. I was, uh, just about to come get you, yeah. What has he told you, girl? Um, not much. Do you know what's happening? Of course. You died in a fire. Wh what? I suppose dying doesn't quite describe it. You were on the brink of death, unable to be saved. Instead of letting you succumb to the smoke, our leader gave you the black blood. As such, you're a black heart now, just like Matthias and I, neither living nor dead. A black heart? I've heard of you. You're, you're demons. Yeah, yeah. Well, now you've joined the club. Maybe don't get your house burned down if you don't want to be the next, be a demon next time, huh? Matthias, be quiet. Our leader was quite inter interested in meeting with you once you were awoken. He's unfortunately out of the moment, though. I suppose there's no harm in going to see him. Matthias, I'm taking the girl to town. Would you like to join? Heck yeah. 
I mean, sure, I guess. What are you talking about? I don't want to go anywhere with you, you demons. But... I hate to say it, but you're one of us now, whether you like it or not. And if you have a problem with it, there is nobody better to talk to than our leader. I'll go with you, but only to see this leader of yours. I have no interest in joining you at all. The little continue button is at Ouroboros. Very well, let's go then. Oh, I nearly forgot to introduce myself. Please, call me Cherry. Cherry Blackheart. Cherry has joined you. The Soul Forest. The town is just to the west. You're familiar with this place, yes? Yeah, of course. This is where, just right. This is right by Stringheart. Indeed. Let's get going then. Touch the monsters by pressing one or by touching the dash icon on the bottom left of your screen. You can get unique rewards by defeating them. Okay. Oh wow, we. Holy crap! Oh, I thought we were be going into a battle. No, we just we just bum rushed that thing to death. Holy crap! Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's a little, little janky, but you know, you gotta hold it down. Okay. So well, that's okay. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Got him. Ah, it's a, yeah. It's very easy to miss. There we go. Interesting. I'm assuming that these are like weak monsters that you know you don't have to fight. Just a bit further. Someone's over there. You're a perceptive demon, though I should expect no less from a filthy black heart. I'm not one of them. I'll not be fooled by you, beast. The stench of your rotten blood is unmistakable. You'll learn, Cecily, and what a perfect opportunity before us. I hate fighting. Decide, Cecily. Are you with us or against us? You can fight back against us all you want, but this man will surely kill you after. I have no time for your bickering. I shall exterminate all three of you on behalf of Lady Argent. <laughs> disgusting creatures. May you burn to nothing with my holy light. You church dogs are the disgusting ones. Cecily, you can stay back for now. Matthias will support us with this magic while I can handle this foolish crusader. Nah, I'm going all in. Nobody calls me a disgusting demon dog. Dark water. Dark wind. Transfusion, Blood Drain, Shadow Aura. Okay, cool. Blood Burn. Ooh. almost out of MP, okay. Now he's on he's on the ropes. So are we like vampires? And so the foolish crusader met a foolish end. I'll stay behind to take care of this mess. You two, proceed to town. 
He's breathed his last. I'm not surprised by that victory theme, gonna be honest. I hear, I hear, I hear. Yeah, we have to go west to get to town, but I, I, I thought I heard a monster. Ah, yep. Yeah. Oh, that is so weird. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, are we in town? Oh, I didn't. I did not want to. Well, whatever, it's fine. The bus lives on the far side of town, to the northwest. Let's head there now. Okay, northwest. Let's go. You're out here awfully late, little boy. I'll protect my family from getting eaten by those blood-sucking freaks. You wouldn't know who those blood-sucking freaks were if they came right up and bit you. They are vampires. Interesting. Hey, who's that? Says Draco's approval from here, Dora. What a beautiful night. The cat meow is very round. She stay behind and deal with the body. Hey, bro, where are you going? Cecily, this is my brother Aiden. Aiden, she's the uh, newbie. Fresh delivery for our leader. <laughs> that uh, sounded much creepier than I meant it to. Hey, Phoenix, how you doing? Got you, Matthias. You're always so awkward. Um, nice to meet you, I guess. You as well. Hey, if you get bored hanging out with him, come see me sometime, eh? <gasps> well then. Um, I don't think this is where I need to be. In here? Wait. Where's where's the leader? Is it northwest of town? Do I have to go through here? Jeez. That fog is something else. Good hope. Oh, there is... Okay, there is a house there. Okay. Oh, there's... Oh, there's somebody out there. Ah! Ah, okay, we can't... Okay, okay. Very, uh... Okay. Very straightforward. Ah. A beautiful new blackout has been born. It is time to rejoice! Rejoice? You've turned me into a monster. And I came to ask you why. Oh, I believe I asked you before I turned you into a black heart if you wanted to live. If you would be willing to sacrifice whatever it takes to survive. Oh god, that... So, do you hate me? Do you want to strike me down? Uh... I mean, this was a prison of our own design, so... No. So I figured. Though I presume you're still unhappy, aren't you? There's someone here I think you would be quite interested in meeting. Hey, sis. Seth? I thought... I thought... Thought I died. I... I suppose I did, in a way. One nipple... <laughs> dialogue. But our leader here, Lord North, he saved me. He saved you, too. Don't you see? Fate brought us back together again. We may be Blackhearts now, but we're alive and we're together. Just like old times. I don't understand. I saw you die. It is the black blood. I discovered it some few years ago. A black liquid collecting from the leaves of a certain tree deep in the soul forest. I knew not what it was, not at first. But I could tell it was different somehow. Then my dear sister Cherry became ill. She was not long for this world. She was going to die. And so, as a last resort, I gave her the black blood. <laughs> and it worked. She healed completely overnight. And yet she was no longer alive by traditional measures. She didn't need to breathe or eat. She had no pulse. As such, I became convinced that I unlocked the gift Sorry, of a mortal life. With my friendship. Hey, Chris Tentacle Monster. <laughs> thank you, um... Thank you for the fall. Appreciate it. Appreciate that. Really appreciate the follow there. Uh, welcome to the Realm of the Feathered Dead. 
That's uh, a gift that could install any wound and heal any ailment. I'm glad you enjoy. <laughs> Those zealots of the church were quick to condemn me in my research, however. Even now, they hunt me and my family without mercy, convinced we are demons. I'll leave it up to you, Cecily. Do you truly think we are demons? Our only sin is that we choose life over death. Freedom from the unending cycle of pain and suffering. And if we are truly sinful, then why do we, as a result of our transformations, gain such powerful and blessed magic? So what you're saying is that everything, everything that the church has said about the Black Hearts is a lie? The church preaches that our lives are meaningless. We exist in this world only as a means to build karma for the afterlife. We Black Hearts, we who have attained immortality, are in direct defiance of their teachings. They embrace death. They yearn for it. I, however, am in no rush to die. It's okay, Cecily. We're not demons. We don't hurt anyone. It's all as Norse says. We're simply living. It is the church that's, that is wrong. I trust you, Seth. But she, Seth is the reason she's here. But you died three months ago. Why did you never come see me? Why did you make me think you've been dead this whole time? I tried to come see you, but it was too dangerous. The knights of the church hunt us day and night. We must be careful when we go out. Surely you've seen how fervently they, they hunt us black hearts. You had a run-in with one even on the walk here, did you not? I did. Speaking of, Cecily, as you may surmise, we black hearts are blessed with magic. You, too, have that same magic now. I would love to help you unlock your power. Uh, uh, uh. We, we each have different abilities, and with a little practice, we can divine what your abilities are. Let us spar. Surely your magic will awaken. <laughs> Trass. <laughs> How you doing, man? Now, Cecily, we shall unlock your magic. But what type of powers do you have, I wonder? Let's start simple. Come at me with that dagger. Not much. I'm just playing games from uh, IGMC. It's the finalists. The well, last two games. This is the last of two right here. I'm not doing any damage. Oh, God. Hmm, nothing yet. Let's just try something else. You should be able to use a simple sorcery called Blood Magic. Try that on me now. Damn, dress Mr. Spam a lot. <laughs> Chris, throw this voice, Phoenix. <laughs> I have not. No, no. No, I, I played 47 games, all in all, all said and done. Magic. There we go. Wonderful! That seemed to work. Yes, I can feel the essence of your magic. It burns me even now. <laughs> I'm trap. It's okay. And keep attacking me with that power. We will learn the extent of your potential. Um, I'm, I was given a, a group of games and then put my scores in. It was moved on to the next round. Then I got another group of games. Scores in. So, and this is the final round of games. Last nine, I've already played um, seven of them. This is number eight, and then number nine is the very last game of IGMC for me. Wait, was I supposed to do something? The feel. The flow. Yes, I see now. Close your eyes and think of the earth beneath your feet. Of the sun high up in the sky. Do you feel anything? Yes, I do. Now imagine a point on the horizon. What do you see? Oh, changed. I see a tree. Yeah, we're her. We're her. Hmm? It's covered in pink flowers, and it's big. The base of it is larger round than even the entire town of Stringheart. She sees something living? I... This is unexpected. Regardless, I want you to envision that tree and then use the magic power you used earlier. Blood of Yggdrasil. Oh, wow. She's gonna kill him. Oh, no! Oh, that power. Why does she have power like this? You... My apologies. I have some errands I need to run. And congratulations on unlocking your power, Cecily. You're not truly, officially one of us. 
Though I cannot allow her to live. Not with magic like that. I'll have to plan my next move carefully. Well, we accomplished what we came here to do. Shall we go back to our hideout? Yes, I'll come with you. If you don't mind. Seems I'm no longer needed here for tonight. Though we black cards don't need to sleep, I can always appreciate a quick nap. Yeah, I just hope Cherry's alright. She said she was going to be catching up with us. If anyone can be trusted out there, it's Cherry. Plus, if anything happened to her, the boss would know. He's got away with that. He looks salty. Yeah, he's he's bad. True. Well, then let's get going. We're a living black heart. Well, it'll be day soon. We try not to go out much when it's light out. That's when the holy nights are most active. So we just hang out here until it gets dark? For the most part, I do like a good nap, even if we, even if we don't need to sleep. But I mean, if you wanted to stay up and talk and stuff. With you? No, not really. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's silly, huh? <laughs> right. I was, uh... You didn't have to say it like that. <laughs> Poor Matthias. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I've been meaning to mention something to you, Cecily. Something about you looks different since the sparring you did with our leader. I do feel a little different. Maybe that's because of the black heart magic? Yeah, maybe. Did, did that leader guy seem a little off to you? Oh, he always gives people weird looks. He's what I call a broodster. Well, good night, Matthias. So, Seth, what have you been up to all this time since, you know, you, you know, undied? I've been here mostly, supporting the others. Life hasn't been the easiest since we last saw each other, but I don't have any regrets. All the other black hearts are like my family now, and you're part of that too, now. Yeah, I guess. I'm just, be I'm just glad to be with you again. Things haven't been the same since Dad passed. Dad. Cecily, I'm going to take a little rest myself now. It's been a long day for me. But sometimes the sleep helps reset my mind. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Maybe I'll try that too. I definitely have a lot on my mind too. Good night, Seth. Yes, I would like to save my game. Let's go. It's a pleasure meeting you, Cecily. But orders are orders. Ironic, isn't it? I suppose you're always destined to die in a fire. Though this time, your house is not my target. It's you. I thought I heard someone coming. What are you trying to do? You saved my life just to try and kill me yourself? No hard feelings, Cecily. Lord North has changed his mind about you. You are no longer worthy to be a Blackheart. Tell me, Cherry. Are you the one to burn down my home? Are you the reason I'm a... a monster? What difference does it make if I say yes? You will die here, now. Oh. As my lord commands, so it shall be. There will be nothing left of you. Damn, girl! Well, guess what? Oh, that... Did not hit as hard as I thought it was going to. Sh shit! Oh, no! Please to consume you. Leave me not even ash. Say goodbye to your pitiful existence. Wow. How are you getting yourself? I, I can't because I'm, I'm I'm burning. Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Die. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. How do you yet stand? Hey, Marion, how you doing? MP by 300. Oh, that's a lot. Um, I need to. Need to. Oh, she's almost down. Got her. Glorious. Blackheart found. We killed her. You. How is this possible? now this place is sinking I see you're awake you best be on your way I recommend staying off the main road so the holy knights are still out and about so he's not the only black heart wait who are you little more than a ghost I'm afraid nothing for you to bother with did you save me I heard the rumbling from here. Seems the Blackheart ba Black base underground capsized from a big battle. 
I don't need to know the details, but if you're the one who defeated Cherry, then the least I could do is save your life. But you know I'm a Blackheart! As am I, though I prefer not to think of myself as one of them. I was brought back by that vile man, North. I was one of them, and when they decided that I was no longer worthy, they tried to dispose of me. I suppose you and I have something in common in that. We've talked long enough. I prefer to be alone now. Please excuse me. Could you at least show me the way back to Strangeheart? My brother, he's still back there with them. I'm worried about him. I prefer not to break the rules I've set for myself. And yet you killed Cherry, did you not? She was North's second in command, the first Blackheart ever created. I suppose it's a courtesy to thank you for ridding the world of her pestilence. I can guide you back. Though I warn you, girl, if your brother is one of them, it might be better to leave him behind and never look back. He's not like that. He wouldn't. Very well. I will guide you to Stringheart. And my, oh, and my name is Sil Sylvena. I suppose we should at least know each other's names, huh? I'm Cecily. Sylvena, you notice that she's the only one that has actual color to her skin? Oh, she's with us, okay. Like, she's the only one that actually has, like, she's not, like, white and gaunt. Oh, the, the noise it made! Oh, no! Oh, I, I feel bad about that now! Just a normal heart. <laughs> no, but all the other black hearts are, oh God, you know what I mean. That, why are they moaning like that? <laughs> oh no. Uh. Oh my God. Cause they like it. <laughs> Oh, my fungal organ dress! <laughs> These do look cool for RM characters. There's a secret path here that will take us to the Soul Forest. I believe you're familiar with the place? Yeah, I grew up there. He made them spore! Excellent. Let us go then, if you're ready. I'm ready. The Soul. Uh, north, across the bridge. I used to live near here, didn't I? Just to the west. Whoops. Okay, I can't attack the butterflies. Darn. Oh, that was a plant! <laughs> Whoops. Did I? Oh. Okay, it's like, oh good. We can't kill the cat. Okay, this game, not. Okay, excellent. What the? Do I just take out the honey? What? Don't mind me, I'm just vision. And then we just ruin a few beehives just because we can. Well, I thought it was a little dog at first, which does not help, does it? <laughs> you see, Shishi used to live to the west, so... Can we check that way? No, we cannot. <laughs> oh my god. Seems the intel was correct. I figured the black cards were slinking around this place. Seize them. Yes, I would like to save my game. I really think the work you've done is quite lovely, dear Nash. Not just one, but... Not just one of the blighted little bastards, but two. And to think, I was really losing faith in you holy knights. Seemed all you were good for was getting massacred by the vermin. Ha! <laughs> Looks like it's awake. Lady Argent, please take caution. We cannot trust their kind. The fiends are apt to trick us, and one wrong move spells death. Imagine the nerve of the captain the holy knights to presume to tell me about what the black hearts are and are not capable of. Were you and your little knights not just last night mourning the death of one of your men? It seems to me that you and yours are the ones who have no idea what's going on. Now I highly recommend you shut your useless mouth and let me do what I came here to do, Lord Captain, or I may throw you in the same pit we used for those ugly things. 
Hello, you raggedy little thing. My name is Cecily. Who do you think you are? <laughs> it thinks it has a name. How cute. How terribly cruel. You are not but a rotting corpse. You have no name. You forsake whatever you made, you, whatever made you human when you made a deal with demons. Do you want to know who I am? Sure, I'll indulge you. I'm Teresa Argent, divine agent of the star, the lone light that protects humanity from the blight of your kind. I'll make this quick, you filthy little rat. I'm to understand you're something of a renegade among your kind, an outcast among outcasts. I have a proposition. I want you to crawl back into whatever hole you came out of, find your leader, and kill him. Bring me his head. If you do that simple task, I'll let you live. How about that? You mean North? He's no leader of mine. I'll do it, but only if you let me let both me and my brother free to walk away. <laughs> you're such a funny little thing, you. First you think you're worthy of having a name, and now you think you have a brother. If I didn't know any better, Lord Captain, I would think this one still has some shred of humanity left. No doubt some trick, Lady Argent. You cannot trust this Blackheart to kill their leader. Even assuming that she's willing to help, she has no chance of victory. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure of that. He ordered to have this one killed, after all. He's afraid of it. How, would, how did he know that, though? Regardless, who am I to care if this mission is a failure? If they keep killing each other, I'm still losing nothing. Did you hear what I said? I'm not doing anything for you unless you promise me my brother Seth will be okay. Such demands you have. Here's my best offer. I'll let you live. I'll let your brother, or whatever you think he is to you, live as well. But any other Blackheart is fair game, including the other one we captured alongside you. And just for good measure, to prove you're truly loyal, I'll have you kill this one yourself. Do we have a deal? Oh, wow, no, fuck no. Find Lord North. Doing so will guarantee safety for you and your brother, Seft. I'll shoot deny and try to fight your way out of the city. Guess what we're doing? <laughs> I refuse. You refuse? Huh. And here I thought I wouldn't be entertained. I should have known a Blackheart would bite the hand that feeds. Very well. I shall destroy your organization in time. For now, I'll take pleasure in simply demolishing the both of you. Lady Archer, please be cautious. We know not what powers they have. Let me assist you. Do whatever you want. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Ah, Impressive. I've not seen so much of your kind survive so much as a scratch from the Yggdrasil's tree. Y tree? What is this? Being tough has further unlocked your abilities. Your magic has now reached its max potential. Oh, we made the right choice. Impossible. Her body, it's reacting to the Yggdrasil positively. Fine then. If the Holy Tree can't destroy you, I will. This battle won't be easy. I don't know what I, I don't know if I can help much, but I will do what I can to weaken them while you fight back. Oh yeah. Why Nash? Max potential, you say? <laughs> Miss. Oh, wow. Wrath. To demolish enemies, or heal all enemies. Cleanse all negative effects, shield. <laughs> Ultimate power! <laughs> it's all downhill from here. <laughs> You have a point now, don't you? Useless knight! Must I do everything myself? So it's still okay. I'm gonna silence her. Um, I'm still going after him hard. Maybe come next turn. I am gonna heal for sure. Oh, don't. Oh, that's okay. Okay. There we go. Oh.
Why won't you die? Ha 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 You suck. Get wrecked, Nash. I'm gonna actually get her up so I can focus on damage. Dress. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna chain silencer. That's awesome. free now. <laughs> Thank you for not agreeing to her demands. I may be cursed, but I am in no rush to see the end. You saved me first. I was just returning the favor. Will you go back to North now, even though he tried to kill you? Perhaps your service here will have him rethink your usefulness to him. I'm going back, yes, but not to join him. I'm going to kill him, take my brother, and leave this place. There's nothing left for us here. I see. Then I wish you luck. May we meet again, in another life, perhaps. Save your game? Yes. You could have helped me, but okay. All right, fine, be that way. Oh my gosh, what a cute little dress! Where did you get that? I just have to know! I, uh, this is homemade. Truly? Well, dear, that is simply marvelous! You wouldn't happen to have any extras, would you? In a size zero, perhaps? And with that, I mean a size eight. No, I don't. Well, if that isn't the most disappointing thing I've heard all day! But if you change your mind, I'll be right here, every night, usually for hours, darling. What? Can I take... I, I could, you know, hey, there we go. Okay, now take it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, let's get out of here, shall we? Dirty today and be invited to a holy shower. Um, travel outside, yes. So forest. Nice. Oh, the ones we already killed are still okay. Cool. They're still around. Oops. So you can only kill them once, and that's it. Okay, fair enough. We didn't go down last time. Town's up north. Oh, okay, that was her house. Dialect shush! Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Stop missing there! Quiet tonight. Doesn't seem like anyone's around. I need to get to the base and find Seth quickly. I hope he's okay. I remember right. Yep. Oh, there's a chest here. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? That duck did not quack. That was. Yes, exactly, Dress. I'm generous. That was, a, that was definitely a duck noise. <laughs> wow. Oh, Matthias. Cecily. She's the one who boss wants us to kill, Maddie. She is. But we're not going to. What are you talking about? Listen. I was just trying to say we only met for a short time, but I don't want to hurt you, and I don't want my brother caught up in all this either. When I became a Blackheart, when I made a deal with North, it was to save my brother. This fighting, it isn't for us. We just want to stay together and live in peace. And, uh, this might sound weird, too, but 
I feel like you and I are kindred souls. Like, maybe in another life we were dating or something. I believe in another life you wanted to be dating me. Not that we actually were. You're so mean. But anyway, we're gonna let you do whatever it is you have to do. I know you want to be with your family, too. Seth's in there with North. He's okay. Normal duck noise. Hey, Ma Melon, how you doing? Take care, Cecily. Maybe we'll see each other again. In another life, perhaps. In another life, perhaps. Though, I suppose if I saw you again in this life, I wouldn't be too upset. Oh, man. Did she just flirt with me? What do I do? What do I say? Uh, uh, yep. See you later. Damn it. That wasn't the right thing to say. Now she's walking away. Save your game? Yes. <laughs> poor, poor Matthias. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, there's graves. That's what's over there. There's people in graves. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oops. I hit the wrong button. Oh, yeah, I, I can only save at certain points. That's right. Okay, well, let's go. I didn't look around this place. There's art on the walls. That's kind of cool. I think that's original stuff. Coffin. Cecily. Seth, come on. We have to get out of here. It doesn't matter where, just anywhere but here. You said that things changed after Dad died. What did you mean? What? I just mean after he died, it got hard for us to take care of the house. Take care of ourselves, even. And then you got sick? I don't remember any of that, Cecily. But Master North told me what really happened. You were the one who was sick, Cecily. And it drove you to madness. It made you kill me. North told me the only way I could save you was to kill you, and to have you be resurrected as a black heart. And so we did. Cherry and I went to the house and burned it with you inside. And as you gasped your final breath, North brought you back. Seth, what are you talking about? None of that happened! Oh, but it did. Master North told me as much. He also told me that you had tried to deceive me. Being resurrected as a black heart did not save you, Cecily. So it is my responsibility as your brother to lay you to rest forevermore. I will not let you hurt my family. Seth, I am your family! Whistle duck's totally normal. S Seth? W why? At the last moment, Seth appears to have turned the blade on himself. Whoa! You're right, Cecily. You are my family. And you will always, and you always will. Cecily, you need to. Seth! That's quite enough, don't you think? You, you did this! And so what have I did? He outlived his usefulness to me. He certainly didn't have the strength to strike you down. A fitting, though, isn't it? You killed my dear sister. It was only right that I butcher your brother. I'm going to kill you! <laughs> you can try. Although I'm much better prepared for your little Yggdrasil chick this time. You're dead, North. I can't forgive you for what you've done. <laughs> you killed me? You can try. Though, as I told you, I'm much more prepared for your little tricks. Now you shall be reduced to ash, as you are meant to be. I think it's just the default for RPG Maker. Oh no. Um. It probably could have been solved by putting her in a different spot, but then I think it's a weird thing. So, but I, I don't know if you can adjust the spots, but maybe. I'm gonna go for it. What one's next turn? Oh, he, oh, I need, nope. Yeah, I need a shield. Nope. Wait, what? Actually, I'm gonna... Oh, yes, use that. No, no, it's the final fight. Well, I'm holding onto it. Okay. 
What do you mean number of the day? Yeah, I've got nothing that'll actually take his stuff away, so okay. Oh! He's he's on his knees now! Oh, I'm silenced! Oh no. Um I just have to wait it out. Wait, he just waited for me? What? No dress. The stakes are high in the dialogue. Wow. Taurus. Well, to think I'd be bested by my own creation. I'm not your creation. You have nothing to do with me. Not burn in hell. <laughs> see, he was making the voice. <laughs> Bet you didn't think you see us again so soon, hmm? We figured you'd come here and take care of the problem for us. So if you didn't agree to work with us, there was this was always the best option. Unfortunately, the little stunt you pulled in the cathedral told us we can't trust you, so have a good eternity, Blackheart. Oh, you're running? How quaint. But you won't get far, now will you? It's best if you don't let her get too far. Capturing her again will be a pain. Stay away from me! Matthias! This charade has gone on long enough. Poor thing. Are you finally dead? I suppose just one more strike for good measure couldn't hurt. What? Well, I probably thought it was human. Even right up to the very end. I wouldn't blame her. Her skin was full of life. She reeked at the black bullet, but not like any of her comrades. That, and she had the magic of the holy tree. Oh well. It's not like me to speculate. I'm not here to figure out the black hearts. Just exterminate them. Uh -huh. So few remain, and with their leader dead, I would suppose no more can be created. Now to hunt the stragglers to the end of the earth, if I must, and end this cursed cycle of rebirth. No! We did the right thing and we got the bad ending. <laughs> Ripperoni. Oh no. Well, poop. Journal T. Argent. I know one blocker is still out there, somewhere. This one has proven to be as elusive as a ghost, but I will find it. I always do. Oh, that's from Argent. <laughs> God dang it! Where am I? These trees, they're just like the ones I saw. Like the Yggdrasil. Hello, Cecily. Seth, I thought... It's okay, Cecily. What happened before, it's in the past. It looks like we have a new journey ahead of us, huh? Just down that road. I remember now. I'm not doing true, but it seems like we're headed this way as well. Matthias, you look so lively. Uh, yeah, we had a rough time living as Blackhearts. I sure hope I have to be a Blackheart again in whatever the next life is. Think there is a next life? What if the road just ends and there's nothing? Hey, well, wait a minute. I'd rather be a Blackheart again than just to have to end it all forever. Have it all end forever. No. There's something at the end of the road. I can feel it. What I saw when I first unlocked my magic, this was the place. The road to whatever comes after. Well, we mean no trouble. Just passing through, same as you all. See, the, the voice was, it was a joke. <laughs> See, that's me being a voice actor. Though we're both sorry. I fear we both lived long enough as black hearts that we forgot what it was like to ever be human. We were corrupt inside and out, rotted to the core. Your magic freed us from that darkness, Cecily. In our final moments, you restored whatever little bit of humanity we had remaining. I am grateful to you, and so sorry that we involved all of you with this. Condemned you to this fate. I forgive you. Let's be good to each other in the next life, huh? It's a promise. Oh, that I know what comes after. If I'll have any memory of this place. I think, deep down, we all want to do good. As long as we all try to do what we think is right, even if we disagree, that's all I would want. Are you ready, Seth? Yeah. Let's see where this goes. Okay, so it's a bittersweet ending. I, I think I'm scared, Matthias. What if she's wrong? What if there's nothing beyond this point? Eh, sometimes, Aiden. All you need is a little faith. 
If you don't have faith in this place, or whatever, whoever made this place, have faith in Cecily. She's one of the good ones. I want to believe. Well then, let's get going. <laughs> Kill your friends. It's nice to see Cecily and her brother together at the end. Aiden and Matthias, too. I wish things had gone differently, but at least none of us are alone, hmm? Yeah. Thank you for trying, North. It's all started because you wanted to save me. But I never needed saving. I lived a good life, and you were a good older brother. You've never sounded so sentimental in your life. I, uh, I suppose you better catch up to the others. Don't want to end up in a different universe, or however this works, right? I have no idea how this all works, but I'm pretty sure that's not the way. Cute. I, I like that. That would, that would, yeah. Um, like I like how the, how the battles kind of opened up a bit, but I, I felt like the, there could have been a little bit more to it, you know. It was a good story. I like the story. I wonder what the other ending is. There's not quite enough time to go through it, unfortunately. But I love the games that are made for game jets that have multiple endings. That's such a nice little, you know, extra bit, you know. Yeah, I felt the, felt the battles, like, they, like I like the mechanic outside battles to ram into things to get extra stats and whatnot. But they didn't feel like they were really game-changing, which is okay, so it's just a little extra bit. But I also feel that the battles themselves, I mean, they were okay, just a little... I don't want to say basic, but they were kind of basic. There wasn't much strategy to it or any real thinking to go through or any... Or any like, there's no way to debuff your friends. See each other in another game, perhaps. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah, take care, Dress. Have a good night. Um, like the last fight, I was I was basically just spamming the same skill unless I needed to heal, and that was pretty much it. And then I had the, um, the one, uh, ultimate skill that would have healed and take off all my things and all that stuff. I didn't use it, like, enough, but it, it, that was basically a ultimate heal sort of thing. So once we had those unlocked, it was just pretty much kind of easy street, you could say. Um... So this game was definitely more about the story than it was the combat. So that, that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That was okay. I enjoyed it, though. I did like the story. Um, it feels like the kind of universe and world that could have been expanded upon very easily. Um, I'm kind of interested. Like, I, I want to know what happens next. You know, is there a next? And the whole, like, like there, there's a lot of lore packed in this little game, too, which I kind of like as well. Like, why does Argent... Like, they, they said it was the church, which is kind of a basic reason. Oh, it interrupts the church's big sh spiel and whatnot. About getting karma for the afterlife and whatnot, but mm. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I know that the due date for all the games is the twelfth. So, but no, definitely a very well done game. I enjoyed that. 